Hi, in this video, we're going to show you how to fix the uh, missing users must enter a username and password checkbox that is missing when you go to the uh, user account settings when you want to set your computer to log in without a password. So normally how you would get there, you would do a search for NET, oops, NET, P-L-W-I-Z, and you can run that, and that's for user accounts. And then normally there'd be a box up here that's, that you could check or actually uncheck so that you could actually set your computer to boot up without having to put in your password. So if that's missing, there's a simple reason for that, and I'll show you what that is. So we'll just close this out. Go to our Windows settings. This will work for Windows 11 and Windows 10. Uh, you want to go to accounts, and then sign in options, and then right here for under additional settings where it says for improved security, only allow Windows Hello sign in. Microsoft accounts on this device and that's used for you know when you use a pin So if you still want to use a pin then you can't turn this off But if you don't care and you want to be able to log in without putting in a password Which is not a secure thing to do by the way, but that's up to you. You could turn this off And then get out of here and then if we go back and search again And now we have this box here so the key to this is if you have multiple users and you uncheck this box, uh, you're going to have to pick a user that it's automatically going to log in with because what it's going to do is every time you turn on your computer, it's going to log in with that user and not prompt you to pick an account. So if you have multiple accounts, you'll have to turn it on, log in with that user, log out, and then pick your other user from the login screen. So if you have a multiple user computer, it's probably not the best thing to do. But if it's just you, then no big deal. So what you would do is just click or uncheck this box here, click apply, then it wants the email or actually the password for this account that you're going to use. Not with the caps lock on, of course. And then okay. So keep in mind that whatever one you pick when you uncheck this box and click apply, that's the one it's going to ask for the password for, and that's the one it's going to log in. So if you have, if I would have done that to the admin user, put in the admin password, you know, when I uncheck this box, then I restart my computer, it would have logged in with the admin computer, not this Todd one. So we're going to click OK. And now we'll do a quick reboot and prove that it works. Okay, logging him in with no password. Okay, so we didn't get the login screen or you know password prompt, just logged him right in. So now, like I said, if I want to use that admin account, I have to go here, sign out, and then I could pick the admin user here. And if I do pick the Todd user is going to want his password since I technically logged out. I didn't reboot. I would pick admin. Then I could put in the admin password here. Log in with admin. And now, if I, with this other account, if I go to the user account settings again, You can see that it's still unchecked for this. So since this user is, a, is an administrator, I could go ahead and recheck this if I want to, if I don't like that setting. So that's one good thing about that. But that, like I said, it has to be an administrator account in order to change this setting. So once again, if, you've, if, if you're missing this box here, just go to your settings, accounts, sign in options, and make sure this is turned off. This is turned off by default because this is a local account. So it, it can't use that, can't use the pin or the Windows Hello if it's a local account instead of a Microsoft account. So that's why it's grayed out if you see that. So anyways, simple as that. So if you were missing that box, hopefully this will get you going. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.